shadow That's what you are Unforgettable Though near or far Like a song of love That clings to me How the thought of you Does things to me Never before Has someone been born Unforgettable In every way And forevermore And forevermore That's how you'll stay That's how you'll stay That's why, darling It's incredible Someone so unforgettable Thinks that I am Unforgettable Thank you. <laughs> Baby, last chance, you know, last chance. Last chance. Should we do it? There's a last chance. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, Oh, that's it. That was painless. We met it, darling. No, 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 no. Not, not yet. Not yet. Oh. Okay.
together you now drink from this cup, so may you under God's guidance, in perfect union and devotion to each other, draw peace, comfort, and happiness from the cup of life, and thereby find life's joys doubly gladdening, its bitterness sweetened, and all things hallowed by true companionship and love. Now as you share the wine from this cup, you affirm your commitment to share all of life's experiences together. This marriage is the culmination of years of apprenticeship, the winnowing and honing of your precious previous relationships to help shape you into the person who stands here today, ready to make the ultimate commitment of love. Acknowledging the past as preparation allows you to step most gracefully into the present. And having done so, you need to remind one another that this union is unique. This is not just another relationship. It is the relationship which is the consequence and fulfillment of the others. It is the last and the best. This love came completely unexpected. The joyful consequence of nothing you could control. While everything you have experienced prepared you for it, there was nothing you could do to actually bring it into being. And so it is indeed one of life's totally unexpected miracles. At this time, Yvonne and Stuart are going to share some personal words with each other. On the first. Okay. My love, I've waited so long for you that I begin to believe there was no such a thing as true love, that the rest of my life would be lived out alone, that nothing precious would come into the form of someone to love. Finally, after many sorrows and mishap, mishaps and losses, after I had given up all hope, you were giving to me like a miracle like a single elegant star in the darkest of night. Now I feel joy, now I feel all. Now I feel that anything is possible. Thank you for coming into my life. Thank you for loving me well. I have waited so long for my heart to be glad, for my soul to be full. I love you not only for what you are, but for what I am when I am with you. I love you not only for what you've made of yourself, but for what you are making of me. I love you for ignoring the possibilities of the fool in me and for laying firm hold of the possibilities for good. I love you because you've done more than any to make me happy. You have done it without a word, without a touch, without a sign. You have done it just by being yourself. After all, perhaps that is what love means. Uh, you've already committed your hearts to one another, and now before your family and friends, you're going to make a public commitment to share your lives. Okay. I, Yvonne, choose you, Stuart, to be my husband. I, Yvonne, choose you, Stuart, to be my husband. My friend, my love. My friend, my love. I will be yours in plenty and in want. I will be yours in plenty and in want. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In failure and in triumph. In failure and in triumph. I will cherish you and respect you. I will cherish you and respect you. Comfort and encourage you. Comfort you and encourage you. And together we shall live freed. And together we shall live freed. And bound by our love. And bound by our love. I, Stuart, choose you, Yvonne, to be my wife. I, Stuart, choose you, Yvonne, to be my wife. My friend, my love. My friend, my love. I will be yours in plenty and in want. I will be yours in plenty and in want. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In failure and in triumph. In failure and in triumph. I will cherish you and respect you. I will cherish you and respect you. Comfort and encourage you. Comfort and encourage you. And together we shall live freed. Together we shall live freed and bound by our love. And bound by our love.
this ring is my promise that I will always love you. This ring is my promise that I will always love you. That I will always cherish you. That I will always cherish you. And honor you for all the days of my life. And honor you for all the days of my life. This ring is my promise that I will always love you. This ring is my promise that I will always love you. That I will always cherish you. That I will always cherish you. And honor you for all the days of my life. And honor you through all the days of my life. Yvonne and Stuart, we have heard your promise to share your lives in marriage and we recognize and respect the covenant you have made here before your family and friends and before God. And so I say now to the both of you, go now and enter into the days of your togetherness. May your years be healthful, prosperous, and full of love. And may you have many years to enjoy together. May you always be each other's best friend. On behalf of everyone present here today, it is a pleasure for me to declare that you are now husband and wife. May the Eternal bless you and watch over you. May the Eternal love you and make you beloved by others. May the eternal grant you a long life together filled with health, with happiness, with love, and above all, with shalom, with peace in your hearts and in your home. a Jewish wedding ceremony, it is customary to break a glass. It is an ageless symbol that has many interpretations. The traditional meaning has to do with the custom being a reminder of the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem almost 2,000 years ago. We are reminded that even in the moment of personal joy, not to forget the moments of sadness that have been a part of our common history. This custom has also come to symbolize the shattering of the old, the beginning of the new. And since this is a ceremony which brings together two people from different backgrounds, let us with this symbol become especially aware of the barriers that people erect between one another. Try to think with the breaking of this glass of breaking down some of those barriers and helping to create a world of love, a world of unity, and a world of peace. May you live out your days in joy. May you live in one other, another's company in peace. May your days be filled with the rewards of all you have endured to bring you to this place. And may you endlessly delight one another. And may you love and fulfill one another always. Turn your face back to me slowly. Yeah, that's it. Now bring your chin down just a touch and tip your head towards Stuart. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's it. Terrific. Oh, beautiful. 
do it. Beautiful. Turn your face toward me. Yeah, that's it. There you go. All right. Think, um, Kenya. <laughs> You know, I've known Yvonne for a long time and maybe 15 years, maybe longer. And been telling her for years, Yvonne, you need a nice Jewish guy. Guess what, she found a great Jewish guy. Congratulations, we love you guys. at my uh, son's wedding to see him happily married to the beautiful, to his beautiful bride. Uh, and I hope, and I offer my congratulations for their happiness and a ha long and happy marriage. First up, we have Howard and Heather Madnick. Congratulations on your marriage. Looking forward to you meeting you many, many times in the future. You're going to have a wonderful life together, starting off with your safari to Africa. Uh, by the way, when you're coming back, let us know uh, so we can get together. But again, congratulations. A very happy day uh, for all of us. Uh, and we're very pleased to be here to see this. I'd like to welcome you all. This is a very happy occasion with uh, Stuart and <coughs> 
Yvonne basically joining together. Um, I'd like to mention a, a few things from the past, which Stuart may not want to say. Um, <clears throat> there's another happy occasion in which I, I first met Stuart. Um, Stuart was an instructor at MIT in a computer course that I was taking, and he was supervising the final exam. So it actually wasn't a very happy occasion, that one. <laughs> that was uh, 28 years ago. Um, and it seems like yesterday. It's probably because I remember the grade he gave me. <laughs> now, as we go through life, we <clears throat> develop friendships with people who are very close and dear to us because they give of themselves. They're very generous, and they're always there for us. And Stuart is one of those people. And now that Stuart and Yvonne are joining together, I feel that I'm going to be gaining another very close friend. So I'd like to ask you to join with me in offering a toast to the happy couple, <clears throat> Stuart and Yvonne. And as they go forward, as they share their happiness, share their joy, share their passion for chocolate, <laughs> and for each other. <clears throat> Stuart and Yvonne. Yvonne and Stuart, I'd like to wish you a long and happy life, full of fun and good friends, the company of good friends, and what else? Well, just a lot of <coughs> happiness, sharing good times. Uh, it's very important, and it's, it's having your love grow, and, and, and experiencing a lot of things, and exploring a lot of new things, and especially getting Stuart not to work so much, which I know, hopefully, Yvonne, I think you do a very good job of getting Stuart, because as witnessed by the fact you're going off to a safari, and that's great. And I think uh, it'll be a lot of good things for you. Uh, and uh, what I meant about the chocolate is I was serious, because I've discovered, Yvonne, that you're a, a chocoholic. Pr probably no, no more than uh, Stuart. He's the ultimate chocoholic. OK. <clears throat> Have a good life together. Anything else to say? No, you made me do this. <laughs> Yvonne, you know I love you. You're my best friend, the most wonderful friend anybody could have. And I just hate doing this. I love you too, Stuart. Shows you how much she loves you if she does this. Yes. And Stuart, Yvonne, I love you both. You take care. Hi, Dad and Yvonne. I hope that we don't have to introduce ourselves to you or else you're in big trouble. Just wanted to say to Yvonne, welcome to the Madnik family.
Polly Fowl, the princess.